Hello and welcome back to In the Kitchen with Matt. I am your host, Matt Taylor. Today, I'm going to show you how to make a sweet potato pie. Mmm, yummy. I had a request to do my take on a sweet potato pie, so here we go. I'm going to show you how to make a sweet potato pie. It's really easy to do. If I can do it, you can do it. And it's perfect because tomorrow is Thanksgiving, so I can bring this to Thanksgiving dinner. Oh yeah. Let's get started. So first what we do is uh, we're gonna boil or bake our sweet potato. Now I have one large sweet potato here. It's a little bit over a pound um, and I'm gonna need about two cups of uh, sweet potato once it's all cooked. You can boil it or bake it. I'm gonna bake this in the oven for 350 degrees for at least an hour until a fork pushes in it really nice and easy. Also you can boil it if you want. There's a lot of recipes that say to boil it totally up to you. I, both methods are good. I prefer the bake method. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to go ahead and put this on a uh, baking sheet and bake it for at least an hour. On to that step. All right, once we take it out of the oven, we want to peel it. And what you do, you're going to want to let it cool to where it's uh, enough to where you can handle it without getting your fingers burnt. And then we'll, the peel will come right off. Just go ahead and just grab strips of the peel and it'll come right off for you. All right, and then with a the fork, we're gonna take our sweet potato and we're just gonna mash it a little bit. Same process if you boil the sweet potato. At this point, what you could do is you could also put um, this in a food processor, if you like, instead of using a mixer, which we're gonna use. Helps to get some of the strings out. All right, once we finish mashing our sweet potato, we're gonna go ahead and take one half cup of softened butter, unsalted, and put that in there. And we're gonna go ahead and take a mixer, or if you have a food processor, you can use that. Scrape the sides with a spatula. Okay, and once we have the butter all incorporated, now we want to add the rest of the ingredients. One half cup of white granulated sugar, one half cup of brown sugar. Mash that up a little. We're gonna have one fourth cup of milk whole milk, or you could use cream, one half teaspoon of nutmeg, one half teaspoon of cinnamon, two teaspoons of vanilla extract, and then two eggs. Okay, we'll go ahead and mix this all together. Scrape the sides a little bit. Now this is a little bit liquidy, and this is when we add flour. I have about two tablespoons of flour here and I'm just going to add a little bit at a time just to thicken up this a little bit. About one tablespoon of flour first. Mix that in. And one more tablespoon of flour. Okay, and still just a little bit too runny for my liking, so I'm gonna add just a little more flour, about another tablespoon. You can make a homemade pie crust. I didn't do that for this video, but if you want a great homemade pie crust, go ahead and check out my apple pie video. I show you how to make a really nice, flaky, buttery pie crust. And then what I did with my pie crust is this is a nine inch pie pan, I pre-baked this in the oven at 350 for 10 minutes. And what that's going to do is it's going to help to keep the uh, pie crust from getting soggy. Um, and then what we'll do is we'll just take our puree mixture here, use a spatula to get it all nice and out of there. Okay. Okay, and then we're going to bake this in the oven for 55 to 60 minutes. All right, when you take it out of the oven, it'll be a little bit puffy on the top. And then what you do is you let it set for about an hour at room temperature, and that puffiness will go away and the top will settle down nice and flat. 
and then we place it in the refrigerator for about three hours to set completely. And that is how you make a sweet potato pie. It was really easy to do. If I can do it, you can do it. It's a great treat for Thanksgiving or Christmas or any time, really. Go out there and make one. I'm Matt Taylor. This has been another episode of In the Kitchen with Matt. Thank you for joining me. As always, if you have any questions or comments, put them down below and I will get back to you as soon as I can. Thumbs up, down in the corner, push it. Don't forget to subscribe to my channel. Take care. Now I'm not gonna dive into this one. I'm gonna save this for Thanksgiving tomorrow, but I'm, I made one yesterday, so I'm gonna just dive into that one. Here we go.